Morning people, it's uh, Tuesday morning time for our, our early morning devotions. Hope you're heading for a fantastic day today. We're in the book of Mark chapter 2. Yesterday we spoke about the call of Matthew or Levi was his more correct name. But uh, we spoke about the all-inclusivity of Jesus and calling for his team to come and to be a part of that which he wants to do to save the world. You're a part of that team. I hope you found that place. Well, today we move into a really deep kind of a theological, a beautiful theological thing. You know, in the Old Testament, uh, in order for them to please God, in order for people to please God, people thought that the law of God was the way to do it. If I was obedient to the law, if I was obedient to the Ten Commandments and the hundreds of other laws that the scribes and the Pharisees did, you could judge or gauge your spirituality by the depth of your obedience to obey the law. And so the law set the bar really high. And people tried for so long just to jump the bar and jump the bar, but they just could never jump that high. And the old religious system had become just such a burden to them. They beat themselves up. They tried harder. They got guilt laid on them by the Pharisees. Jump higher, jump higher, be more obedient to the law. And that was, in a sense, the old wine skins. I want to read to you what Jesus says about new wine skins. You'll find it in uh, John, in Mark chapter 2. And I want to read this. No one sews a patch of unshrunk cloth on an old garment. If he does, the new piece will pull away from the old, making the tear worse. And no one pours new wine into old wineskins. If he does, the wine will burst the skins, and both the wine and the wineskins will be ruined. No, he pours new wine into new wineskins. Don't you love that? And so when Jesus came to this earth, one of the beautiful things he did not try to do was patch up the old wineskin of the law. He didn't try to say, guys, you need to try harder. Here's a couple of tools. Here's a couple of hints to be able to achieve the Old Testament rules and regulations. Jesus says, that's the old wineskin. I have something new for you. Don't put my new wine in an old wineskin because it's going to burst and it's going to be a mess. So Jesus came with a new message not of the law, but of grace. And he said, it's by grace that you are saved through faith, not obedience to the law, because if you're going to obey the law, you better do it perfectly. Otherwise, if you fail at one point, you fail in them all. That's hopelessness. So Jesus came to breathe new life and new hope into the spiritual life of these people. And man, he did it in such a, a crazily, almost confrontational way with the scribes and the Pharisees. Those poor guys, their whole lives had been revolving around the law and making sure that people heard the law, making sure that people did the law, judging people according to the law. Now Jesus said, let's do away with that. That didn't work. I have a new covenant with you. That's the old one. The new covenant is of my blood and of my broken body is what he said to his disciples. And it's the new covenant of God's grace. It doesn't mean we abuse God's grace. It doesn't mean that we go out and deliberately break the law so we can have God's grace, as we is discussed in the book of Romans. But we thank God, people, that the old, miserable, burdensome way of the law of God, a law that we could never keep perfectly, Jesus says, it's done away with. You couldn't pull it off. So I have come to breathe life and hope and passion into the system that Jesus brings in. It was this that put Jesus on the cross. It's this that the Pharisees and the scribes and the elders of the law and the, 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 the people of the religious world, they couldn't stand Jesus because Jesus came with a new thing. And the people are saying, why has nobody ever told us this? No one ever knew it until Jesus came. And when Jesus came, the popularity was huge. And he demonstrated the new law and the new, the new covenant with people by the miracles that he did, he proved it. And so when somebody rises from the dead, I gotta tell you, I think I will believe that guy probably more than I will believe anybody else. If you can pull that off, then I'm with you. And so Jesus did all these incredible things, all under the covering of the new covenant. He didn't come to patch the old ones. Hey, maybe you could personalize this and say, my old life, don't try and fix your old life. You know, that's the old, old skins. Don't, don't you try and do this. Start a new life, a new life with the passion of Christ, the love of God, 
and the purpose and the fulfillment of the position and the presence of the Holy Spirit in your life. You can start it again. As we can and Jesus did in the old days, so too can we today. I really hope that from a spiritual point of view, if you're burdensome by the law and obedience and, and the law has a place, I don't take it away completely, but it's never going to get you to heaven. It might help you to live a better life. You're never going to get you to heaven. Jesus came to breathe new life, to bring new hope and a new covenant. I hope you found it, people, because it's awesome. Have a fantastic day, you guys. We love you lots, eh? Bye.